Good morning. How is everyone today? I hope that you're ready to have some creative fun. I'm Anna Walker, otherwise known as Felt It, and I've been creating for as long as I can remember since I was a little kid. And while I usually make things with needle felting and wet felting, um, I knew that we were all going to need some creative time together um, since we're all doing the safe and smart thing by staying at home and not going to school and not going outdoors a lot and not going shopping and not going to classes. So I wanted to have an internet create date with you guys. And every day, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time, I'm going to be here with you until mid-May, and we're going to do a creative date about 30 minutes every morning, Monday through Friday. Today, we are going to make my little orange friend, or whatever color friend you want to make, and we're going to make several in different ways. Oh yes, I know you need friends, that's why we're here today. And yes, we're, we're going to do a lot of different things, not everyone is going to have your same hat. Okay, I'm trying to get started. All right, so we're gonna get started now. I'm gonna move the camera down and I'm gonna turn on the big light and we will start creating. Okay, there's the camera down. There's my big light. You can see that I have made um, some faces that I'm gonna show you different things that we can do with those faces. But before we get started with that, I'm just gonna slide them off. We'll get to them and they're gonna get all wonky and that's okay. I wanted to start by showing you how I created a face. Now I'm gonna try and do this upside down, so please be kind. The one thing I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna draw the eyeball. And then I'm gonna draw the pupil. Pupil is the black spot that's in the middle of our eyes. And around the pupil, is usually where we see a color. Um, and I think our friend here is going to have green eyes. I just think that sounds like a great color for eyes. Ooh, oh, I've got, that looks gold. Here we go, here's a green. So I'm gonna draw another circle around. Ooh, these are light green eyes. I'm just gonna draw that iris. That's the colored part of our eye. I'm gonna draw that iris around. And because we usually have a little rim to the iris, I'm gonna look and see if I've got, well, this one will work. It's not as thin as I would like, but we can do a pretty thin line around. And there's our eye. Okay, now you saw on the others that some of my creatures had um, eyelashes and I think this one is going to have some serious lower lashes coming down. And I'm just drawing some lines down to look like eyelashes, okay? Next, we need a mouth. And you saw from the shapes of the others that I did that there are lots of different mouths that you can do. This one I did sort of, I don't know, it reminds me of a fishy mouth. This one's kind of a straight line, okay? And this one, that's a big mouth. So I think that we're going to have bright pink like this one. And I think I'm going to just do a nice little triangle here. And then I'm gonna color that in. And that's gonna be our mouth for our little clothespin puppet. Now when we're making these, and when we're putting these together, we wanna make sure that they aren't all talking the same direction because right now it looks like they're talking the same direction, right? But it depends on how we put them on the clothespin, how it's really gonna be. Now I want to color my friend's face. So I've got my handy dandy crayons here and I'm just looking around. I think we're gonna have, ooh, Burnt Sienna's pretty. Indian red, what colors do we have? I wanna go with something fun and silly. Um, oh, 
that looks fun and silly. And I love purple, so let's go purple. So I'm just gonna color my friend's face. And if you need to have a piece of paper underneath you in case you don't get crayons on the table, then just put another piece of paper underneath you while you're coloring. And you know what? Coloring is just coloring. There are no rules. You can have this person of yours be whatever colors that you want them to be. I know I had you draw, cut out circles from cardstock, but your puppets don't have to be circles. They could be triangles, they could be squares, they could be a weird, odd shape. And that's okay because that's your creativity coming into play. And I just want you to have fun with this and make all kinds of puppets that can talk with you and keep you company and tell stories. Maybe they'll help you at reading time later in the day. You can make up silly voices. I don't know, what kind of a voice does this one have? Hmm, I think she's got a voice like this. That sounds like a purple person's face and a purple person's voice. And this is what purple person sounds like. Okay, so color it in as much or as little as you want. All right, and we've got our person. So these guys are cut in half. Do you have any idea why? Well, it's so that they can talk because we put them on the clothespin and then they can talk to each other, right? So I need to cut my girl. I'm assuming she's a girl, maybe she's a boy, who knows? She's a puppet. So I'm just gonna cut right there. And so now she has a way to talk. So I have four puppets and they need to be able to talk. So we're gonna bring in the clothespins. Now, the ones that I used for my little guy here are fat ones, they can be skinny ones. They just need to be clothespins, okay? And we're going to take, I'm gonna use double stick tape right now, but you could use glue if you use glue. After you've got your pieces on, you're gonna need to let them dry before you do anything else with them, okay? So just be patient if you're using glue. I'm gonna use tape just so that we can get these put together pretty quickly here. And I've got a skinny tape and I'm cutting it in half. You could fold it in half, that would be fine too. But I'm gonna put one piece of the tape right here on this side and get it to stick, there we go. And one piece of tape right here on this side. Now, because the tape is longer, I'm just gonna fold it over. It's double stick tape, so it comes apart. So I'm gonna use my friend here. I'm gonna put on the lower part of the face first. That makes it easier for me to line it up. Okay, and making sure that it's not sticking. And there's the top part coming in here and we're just gonna line it up and then we're gonna press it down so that those stick really well and oh, she's talking whoa flipping around and now we have friends that can talk to each other isn't that cool all right I'm gonna put this friend down and I'm gonna put these others together here they're already ready they're already cut in half if you've got colored clothespins, you can certainly use colored clothespins. I'm gonna use a pink one and a white one and an uncolored one. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys ready and then I'll show you some fun stuff that we can do to give them hats or hair or bow ties. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So let me just put the tape on here. All right, that one's not sticking very well. So let's come back and let's try this again. I folded it in half and I think it just didn't have enough stick after I did that. So I've got one piece on this part and one piece on this part. Make sure that the tape doesn't stick together. That's why I'm doing this in between. Now I'm gonna get, oh, let's get the blue guy or gal, or it, whatever it works. You can name your friends, whatever you wanna name them. These are your puppets. 
and I'm just lining it up. Now, I don't have to line it up. I could make it like this, and that would give us some character for this particular puppet, wouldn't it? Because then it's got a little bit of an underbite. And that gives him some character. I like that. So we're going to leave that one there. Let's go to the white here and let's get another piece of tape. And we're going to trim that tape down the middle. So we have two pieces. I'm going to put one part on one side. And I'm going to fold this over because it goes over the edge just a little bit. And then one piece on this side. Make sure that it can open. All right, we're going to get the lower jaw on. And then we'll get the upper jaw on. And we could make this one an overbite, but I'm going to make this one nice and even too. And I'm also going to make sure that on the next one that I flip it this way so that we can have another friend talking. Because right now, we've got two friends that can talk like this, or three friends that can talk like this, and only one friend that can talk like this. So I want to make sure that I've got another friend that can talk from this side. So we're going to put the tape on that side. Another little piece of tape. And we can make up different voices and different stories for each of these characters. They can come from different places. Maybe one of your characters comes from Australia, talks like this, and it's like, radical dude, man, I'm just hanging ten, and I'm just going out and surfing and having a good time. You know, that guy sounds more like he's from California, I think. That's a surfer dude from California. Aussie. Well, blimey. I don't know. Maybe I'm not really good at doing an Aussie. You know what? I just realized something. I can't have them talking like that. Oh, yes, I can. I got it turned upside down. Ugh, Miss Anna, you knew you could make this work. You just weren't thinking very well. And we've got another underbite here. And so now, oh, I put it on the wrong side again. Ah, so now he's the only guy who's going to be here. And we've got all of these friends that can talk with him. But you know what? He's got a really cool hat on. And these friends don't have anything to help them look kind of cool. So let's, let's see what we can do to help them out, shall we? We could make a hat. Oh, here's another friend that's talking this direction. And for the hat, I'm gonna show you how we're doing a hat and then we'll attach it to one of our friends. You can see this looks kind of like the maps that I used for the hot air balloons. And that's because it is. I used my scraps that I had left over from that project. And I just took a Sharpie marker and I gave it a little bit of a brim. And then I gave it a cool hat. And then all we're gonna do after this is just cut it out. Remember how we cut out? We hold our scissor hand straight and we let our paper holding hand be the one that moves the paper around and that way we can stay close to the lines here and we can get this cut out beautifully and then we'll have a hat for one of our friends and it's just following that line and yeah I cut some of it off and that's okay this is just to give us an outline to use So that we would know what it was we were cutting out. And now here's the top bit. And there, we have a hat for one of our friends. So which friend needs a hat? Hmm. I want to make sure we don't cover up too much of their face. Oh, I kind of like it with the purple one. So what I'm going to do is line it up. And I'm going to put it back here so that it looks like they're wearing the hat way far back on their head. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm just gonna use a little piece of masking tape. You could use washi tape, you could use double stick tape. 
I'm just using a little piece of masking tape because it's what I have handy and you're not going to see it anyway. So it doesn't have to be anything special. And I'm just going to put the masking tape down and then oh, we have a hat on our friend and they've got a really cool hat. Different hat than mine. Why, yes it is. I like it. So do I. So what else could we do? We've got hats. <coughs> What about, we have a bow tie for somebody. Oh, look at that bow tie. That's a really frilly bow tie, isn't it? Let me show you how we're gonna do that. Just gonna take a little bit of yarn. And you might need an extra hand to help you with this, but that little bit of yarn, I'm just gonna take and wrap around two of my fingers very, very gently. It's not tight at all, it's nice and loose. And I don't know, I'm wrapping it about 20, 30 times around my hand, around my fingers, until I get, oh, that looks good. And so I'm gonna trim this, all right? And then I'm gonna cut another piece right here. And what I'm gonna do, squish this together by folding it in half I'm gonna hold one part of it while I put the extra piece of yarn right in the very center, okay? So I've got the yarn right in the very center. This is where you might need an extra set of hands, okay? So remember our square knot and our surgeon's knot? Well, I'm gonna do our surgeon's knot, but I'm gonna go right over left and under, and then I'm gonna go under again because I want this to hold really nice and tight when I pull it together. And I've got, there's my other end. We wiggled around a little bit, so I'm gonna move it a little bit, and then we're pulling it really tight. See how it holds it really nicely there? And then I'm gonna get right, left over right and under. So I just did the surgeon's knot backwards, okay? And now, we have this really cool bow tie. Now, how are we gonna get that bow tie on somebody? And more importantly, who's wearing the bow tie? I think the bow tie would look really sharp on our blue guy, okay? So, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna use some double stick tape back here. And I'm just gonna put it right here. And then while I'm holding the bow tie, right at the edge of where the head is of my puppet, I'm gonna press that down and then I'm gonna take the leftover pieces and press them down on top of the double stick tape so that they will hold in place and we have our bow tie. And there's our guy with our bow tie. I like your bow tie. Oh, why thank you. It's bespoke, it's made just for me. So we have hats, we have a bow tie. What else could we do? Oh, how about some wacky hair? Ooh, I like the wacky hair. So let's do some wacky hair. And I think that our friend in orange is gonna have the wacky hair. So we're gonna take a little bit of this kind of yarn. Now you can use whatever yarn or string you have at home. It doesn't matter. Each one of them is gonna make a different design and all of them are gonna look awesome. Now, just like we did the bow tie, we are going to only with four fingers instead of just two. We're gonna wrap nice and loosely around our fingers. Okay, I'm just wrapping nice and loosely. I like this yarn because it's fuzzy. And fuzzy yarn for me just makes hair look even more fun. So I'm just gonna take it and wrap it around and around and around. A couple more times. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna cut it off right here. And then I'm gonna take a nice long bit of the yarn so that I can tie it off. Now, this is a little different than the last time, okay? Because what I wanna do is see each loop like that and I want to cut the strings. And then I want to hold it so that I can get the other side, put my scissors in, and cut the strings. 
So now I have all these pieces of yarn that are all the same length. I'm gonna get that extra piece and then I'm gonna tie my knot again. And again, we're doing the reverse surgeon's knot. So it's right over left, under, and under. Now, because this is a fuzzy yarn, it'll hold a little bit better, but we're gonna still pull it nice and tight and then left over right and under and pull it nice and tight. And then we're just gonna take it and find the bottom there and we're just gonna fuzz this up for our hair, okay? And the same way we attached our hair bow tie is how we're going to attach our hair. So see, I just sort of flattened it out a little bit, but made it so that it goes all the way around. This is gonna go on our orange friend. So I'm gonna put this down here. I've got the hair ready to go. I need just a bit of tape. And just like the bow tie, we're putting the tape down. Only this time, I want to overlap not just the string, because the string is gonna come straight up and be part of the hair, okay? So what I want to do, and we'll trim that off so that it's all about the same length, okay? What I wanna do is take this whole bottom piece here and press it down into the double stick tape. If you're using glue, the same thing. You're just gonna press it down. You're just gonna have to let it dry. Okay, and then oh, our orange person has hair. Look at all that wacky hair. Oh my goodness. So now we have friends that can have puppet shows and talk and make up stories and read storybooks and have all kinds of fun. And you've got plenty of friends that can play with you. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I, I know, it goes so fast. But I wanna see pictures of your puppets. I want you to post pictures of your clothespin puppets so that I can see what you created while we were here today. I'm gonna to turn off the big light and turn the camera again. Hi. I want to show you what we're gonna work on tomorrow. Now, tomorrow we need just a circle of cardboard and you can, you know, make it as big or small as you want, but I would recommend that, oh, I don't know, maybe you would use, um, at the very least, a coffee cup around it, and maybe you'll use even a small plate um, and use that to cut out your cardboard. Then you're going to need, if you wanna use paints, you can use paints, you can use crayons, you can use markers. I used washi tape to decorate mine, and we are going to make homemade whirly gigs tomorrow. What's a whirly gig? Well, it's an old timey, as my son said, an old timey play thing. And what you do is you turn it around and around and around and around, and then you pull on the strings and it makes a wonderful design. And then you pull it again and it keeps spinning around and around and around. And you can do this for hours and hours and hours. And you can make a design that'll show up kind of cool. And however you want to design those cardboard pieces, that's how you're gonna design them. So tomorrow we need string, we need cardboard, and we need you to have things to decorate your cardboard, okay? I am so glad that you were here crafting with me today and came in for our art date, our creative date. Um, if you wanna see more of the felt stuff that I do, you can go online to stabthingsintoexistence.com and you can find out all about what I do. But tomorrow, we're in whirly gig land. So I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Bye.